Amazon's Temu competitor Hall is an AI image wasteland. <laughs> Amazon's new budget focused platform Hall has been criticized for poor quality AI generated product images that range from distorted proportions to outright nonsensical de depictions. Many listings even appear to violate Amazon's strict image guidelines, raising questions about oversight and rule enforcement. For Amazon sellers, Hall's relaxed standards could be a double-edged sword, offering opportunities for rapid product <laughs> listing, but risking damage to brand credibility. As Amazon fine-tunes its AI tools and evaluates Hall's early issues, sellers should monitor how this initiative might impact customer trust and platform policies. Uh, yeah, so as we were talking about last week when uh, we were going over the launch of Hall, there are a lot of images that violate Amazon's policies. A lot. So easy to find those. Yeah, and some of them are pretty funny, actually. If you're watching on video, I'll show you a couple of them here. Um, so this is an iPhone stand, and the iPhone stand is as big as the lady's arm. That's like a gigantic yeah. iPhone stand. <laughs> Mm -hmm. At least that, that iPhone is like yeah. the size of her like whole portion. Super long iPad tablet. <laughs> that, yeah. You guys don't know about that one. That's the quad fold iPhone. It it goes right. to it folds down to the regular size iPhone, but goes larger than an iPad Mini. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Uh, the one that I really like, just because I like fishing, is uh, this <laughs> one here. That's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy, instead of catching a monster fish, is catching a monster-sized like fish. Like a Loch Ness glove. monster or something. <laughs> Which yeah. is coming, yeah, out of coming water, right man. out of the shore. Yeah. yeah. By the way, these are main images, everybody. These are main, <laughs> right. main images. Yes. Yeah. Right? So these are the hero images, which means that they are not conforming to the white background. Yes, and so they they are like, doesn't matter how ridiculous the image itself is. It's a direct <laughs> violation of TOS, yeah. which as far as we can see, nobody's getting busted for. So those of us that are good rule abiding citizens are not being punished for the criminals. Yeah. I, I mean, are, are you still getting pun punished while the criminals are not? Uh, yeah, so it'll actually, catch up to them at some yeah, point. I'm actually in the middle yeah. of dealing with Amazon issues that are just like beyond problematic. And mm -hmm. Amazon has just got to the point where I think they're just too big to actually police all of their rules. And like they yeah. can't even sell or support fix blatantly obvious problems without going through dozens and dozens of support cases where it's yeah. like the first one should be the one, you know? That's yeah, I, these I mean, ones though, they're they're not even trying because I <laughs> yeah, that's true. I just uploaded a a new main image for a client and we put in a, a little like zoom in a circle. Mm -hmm. so that people could see what the product a part of the product looked like closer the texture of it yeah and the it, it wouldn't even go live yeah, it, it didn't yeah. it suppressed all the images in the listing automatically mm. so the ai is smart enough to realize that this main photo is in violation they're just not even trying on yeah Amazon but it's not on hall yeah my <laughs> yeah. my guess is that hall is on some other uh, yep. in some other server farm, right, in yep. which their AI has not been connected to, and so it's not being policed. That would be my guess. It might be the same um, servers that Netflix used for the Tyson-Paul fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be. <laughs> A couple things uh, back to this story here on Amazon Hall. Um Amazon Paul. I thought it was very funny yeah. that Amazon replied and they they their spokesperson said, we have proactive measures in place to prevent non-compliant images from being listed. We continuously monitor our store and promptly address any issues that were undetected by our automated checks. Yeah, we have two part-time employees who yeah, exactly. scan through it. I can, <laughs> like, I can have uh, chat GPT create a similar GPT, thing for yeah. me. How should I reply to this chat GPT? <laughs> and that's what they got. Well, you know, here's the thing is I, with all of this stuff going on, this is why 
companies like ours exist, right? Amazon's too big for its britches. St stuff falls out the crack, falls through the cracks. Mm -hmm. And then we have agencies, companies, SaaS like ourselves that go in and say, Hey, in my case, I go, Hey, are you having issues with split reviews, orphan nations, reviews that are in violation, et cetera? Cool. I can help you monitor those. Hey, I can help you get rid of those. And then Kevin, you go, Hey, you don't know how to do well, lots of things my Amazon guy does, right? You you need help with with the entirety Amazon of your business stuff. because it's yeah, because it's getting killed. Awesome. We know how to optimize you, right? And then Jackson, in your case, you're like, hey, uh, are you getting hosed by fees? Cool, our fees are better and and we're faster, and uh we don't lose your stuff, or we don't whatever the whatever the solution is. So because Amazon doesn't know how to manage Amazon within an iota of perfection, this is why people like us exist. Yeah, yep. yeah for sure. And that's not going away. Like just like the yeah. uh, the uh, refund recovery services, yeah. right? When Amazon announced that, oh, we're going to do all this for you. It's like, uh-huh, sure you are. Yeah. Yeah, they, <laughs> they've announced that before. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Just like you're going to make sure my listing doesn't break. And just like you're going to exactly. make sure no one steals my brand name. And just like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, exactly. uh, yeah. Just don't, don't trust Amazon to uh, do things for you as much as possible. Yeah. And, uh, you're oh, like, by the way, also just give us access to all of your cogs and your suppliers and, 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 mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll show you your metrics for free. You know, yep. what, what, what is that? program that they purchased it's the uh, um Pico? no yeah i know what you're talking about the um inventory software vquo yeah, yeah vquo oh, oh vquo is that what you said yeah 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 that yep. yep yeah no thanks i i try to stay away from amazon's own software as much as possible mm-hmm um, some people are wondering uh you know if it's uh, amazon's own ai image tool that was generating some of these photos. Um, here's one example that uh, somebody mentioned that Amazon's AI image tool put a toy car on a freeway rather than in a child's room or playground or something like that. 